Our planet is paying the price for carbon pollution. This is why the carbon credit system was created, to attach a financial cost to carbon emissions. One carbon credit is equal to one ton of carbon released into the atmosphere. Polluters must buy credits to offset their emissions. Clean industries and carbon reduction projects profit from selling excess credits. Now anyone can directly contribute to tackling climate change by investing in carbon credits with the ClimateCoin Carbon Portal. Thanks to blockchain technology, carbon trades can be tracked accurately, offering complete transparency to investors. A direct peer-to-peer -peer investment that cuts out the middleman. The value of carbon credits is predicted to multiply over the next few years. The opportunity is clear. There has never been a better or more important time to invest in the future of our planet. Climate Coin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for climate action for the for the event and the opportunity. Uh, congratulations for the um, uh, other speakers. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you our story and evolution. Um, the past year, we created the Climate Coin CO2 token, um, the first carbon neutral crypto asset in the world. The token is a cryptographic equivalent of a carbon uh, credit. We were invited with, to be found partners of the Climate Change Coalition. Thank you, Masamba. <laughs> And um, with the aim of, the, of getting involved in the development of pilots to the test of the powerful distributed electric technology. From the beginning, we wanted the climate coin to fit into, into the, the real economy and solve problems. The C2 token can be the crypto asset utility payment currency needed to, by the centralized carbon markets. But to achieve uh, this, we also had to create our own decentralized blockchain exchange of carbon credits, the climate trade. And so we did, yeah, developing the climate trade, which is in testing phase, phase since November. Um, as a result of the diversification strategy in the corporate mission, Climate Coin has been renamed Climate Blockchain Initiatives. Um, a brand that best represents uh, the ambition to become the blockchain ben benchmark for the ve development of the new climate markets. I give the word to my partner and thank you very much. Thank you, my twin. So, uh, I am trying to, I will make the presentation in English because my Polish is not that good. So, uh, uh, thanks, Jose. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I know there's a long day and, and it's a long week. So um, I'm trying to explain to you, I will try to explain what we are trying to achieve. Uh, we started, as Jose said, one year and a half ago. Uh, we created Climate Coin CO2 token as a reference for all the carbon credits in the world. We want to become, and that's what we are working for, and uh, to become the reference for all the type of prices, all the type of different uh, credits that, that you know there are around the world. For that, um, we launched the Climate Coin to finance also our platform. Our platform is already done, it's finished. Uh, it's the Climate Trade platform. And is, uh, I like to say there is a new breakthrough technology that is going to disrupt the new carbon markets. What we are doing here, and as you know, uh, we are following the Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. In the Article 6 of the Paris Agreement, it says that the NDC goals can be achieved by collaboration between parties, right? So, I mean, it offers the opportunity to cooperate with one another to fulfill and to finish to implement their NDCs, right? So what we are trying to be here is trying to be facilitators, okay? We want to be in the middle, create the bring the blockchain technology. We are bringing a whole ecosystem that... I don't know how... Here, where? Okay, so this is a whole ecosystem. What we are trying to do is uh, we are bringing the, a, a new whole platform with the, new, with the biggest technology available, blockchain technology, but with the fastest blockchain available at the moment. 
so the transactions are going to be the, the, the fastest as possible and can support as many transactions as, as needed. Uh, we are integrating, we've been working with the best experts during this year of the carbon markets. Uh, some of the experts that written the, Paris, the, the Article 6 of the Paris Agreement, also with the best UX, UX experts in the world, the UE experts in the world to, to create people that created platforms like the Dow Jones in the United States to bring the best user experience to our customers. So what we want to do, we are and, and already are doing, uh, we are bringing to governments our solution is climate trade, obviously. So this is how the platform will look like. And what we are doing, it looks like, not will look like. <laughs> so what we are doing is uh, we are discussing with different governments, uh, already in different agreements with different governments around the world, to bring them to the platform, to implement and help them implement the NDCs, put them our technology to, for, for them to implement it, and also uh, give the possibility to corporations and to citizens all around the world to, to offset their emissions through our platform, peer-to-peer -peer without intermediaries. That's the, the essence of the, climate, of the blockchain technology, right? So that's what we are using. Uh, what we do is we integrate the whole ecosystem. I mean, we have a, a climate wallet, a climate coin wallet. We have the climate coin, the CO2 token, and we have the platform. So we are integrating everything, so you have everything in your hand. Okay, so whenever uh, uh, like the people get in the platform, it can go from those two sides. It can go from the side of the producer, of the project developer, that is a project that it, it is already verified, a validated project, or you have an SDG project, biodiversity project, or any other project that needs to be funded. What we want to be, and with this you will understand, is the Airbnb of the new climate markets. Okay? We want to become the reference platform where everybody goes and can say, I need financing for my project, and you can go there. I'm a banker for 17 years, and, were, uh, and also I started my first startup when I was 16 years old, and afterwards I became a banker. I don't know, this is weird, but it's like that. So, and um, when I, a lot of people came before, like, you know, if you go to a bank for us for money, and uh, if you don't have a very good balance sheet, if you don't have some own resources, you cannot ask for a loan. And normally, in the climate markets, what happens is that only big, big projects get financed, right? There are disrupting, disrupting uh, climate projects around the world. And I can tell you this because uh, I've been searching for them during this year with my partner here, uh, that they need financing, and they don't find it. And everybody's having and that say that they put a lot of money in the climate markets, but there are a lot of disruptive projects that can solve the climate problem and the uh, climate change problem that don't get financing. So let's help these people to have financing, right? So that's why uh, I, I launched my work to like governments, to organizations, institutions, to give them the possibility, the, the, the technology, to be able to put together projects and their resources to fund these projects. At the same time, let's include the citizens in this equation. Let's permit the citizens the possibility of putting more money, putting the money that before cannot be done. I mean, they couldn't do, do this. I mean, uh, if you know, you know that the citizens couldn't be able to buy carbon credits, you have to, it's very difficult now. There is some, there is some projects, but it is very difficult. People don't know where to go, where to, to do it, so we are, giving that possibility also. And we have different strategies for this. So if you go to, uh, this is how it would look our, our wallet, eh? for you, can, we, you will be able to store your carbon credits, you will be able to store uh, all your, your uh, credits there tokenized, and uh, with the idea of in the future, obviously, being also a method of payment, right? Uh, that's, that would be the perfect thing. Uh, I, will, I will tell you a story about whenever we, my partner, uh, the bird one is because <laughs> he was on the Amazonas and, and all around the world uh, working for the UN Red program as a fundraiser. Uh, so we were talking about the story in Colombia. Uh, we partnered this year with uh, PeaceCoin. Uh, there's a project in Colombia where uh, they are trying to demilitarize, as you know, the FARC, all the FARC history. So they are trying so how are you bringing the money to these people? 
uh, everybody has phones, but they don't have accounts in the bank. <laughs> so uh, what about if I send you the money to your account, in your, your money in your phone through a token that you can bankarize, you can go to the bank afterwards and you can uh, make money, right? That's, that's a possibility. What about these indigenous that have their own projects that they, want, they don't want to put anywhere because they don't trust how the money is going to come from? But here, they will be able to log in, to sign up, and to put their projects in our platform, right? And then, this is freedom. It's democracy, but at the same time, we are problem, problem solvers, right? So what are we targeting? Mitigation projects, offset tiers, offsetters, government institutions, and individuals, as I told you before. The business-to-business -business target is obvious. Transportation, aviation, the second biggest pollution is aviation also transportation companies, cargo companies. Uh, so from there, we move to a B2, B2C target. Okay, we need citizens. We need you all. We need uh, the people doing something for this uh, big problem. There is a, a death spiral that is, it was saying The Guardian the other day, is a death spiral in climate change, as we, as we everybody, everybody know. So we need to, to involve everybody. This is how Imagine that you are a pension fund manager that you want to impact invest. You want to make impact investing. Now it's, it's everybody is going after that. Uh, and we bring you a project in the Amazonas, but you don't want to go there. But I give you a Google, uh, glasses, VR glasses, and you put them there, and you are in the middle of the project where you are investing. That's going to that's gonna happen. We will give you that, war, that, that Google that you will be able to do it. And we have collaborated with different companies. We are discussing uh, with different companies in order to implement MRB, AI, different algorithms. Obviously, and as I was working for the biggest tech bank in the world, uh, what I found out is you bring your solution first, the beta is an MVP, and then implement, implement, implement. You have to be implementing constantly. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how you get the best application in the world, as BBVA did with that phone, with a banking application. So uh, for that, this is an example of what I'm telling you. Uh, the last, it was in Amazonia. In Paris. In Paris. Paris Agreement. Paris Agreement. Paris uh, so that's, that's, so we need the help of everybody here. Uh, we need the, the, the contribution of governments, organizations, like uh, to, and we, just, we are just facilitators, as we said, so we, we try to put in the hands the possibility of, of bringing to, this to reality. So thank you, everyone. Yeah, please. Um, great. Thank you very much for that, um, Jose you, Lindo and Francisco Benedito. Um, so we do have a little bit of time. You uh, move forward at a rapid clip, and so it offers up an opportunity for questions in the room. Um, so would anyone, does anyone want to jump right in? No. Yeah. Hi, uh, Evan Samet here from Carbon Risk Management. My question is if you could elaborate a little bit more on how to de-risk for the purchaser because my experience, if we, if we use the current market now, if you're going to make a purchase and purchase a carbon credit, you do still need the middleman who can guide the purchaser to understand what the risk is with that particular project. You're not talking about taking the middleman out of that, are you? You will still need someone to help translate the citizen and un to understand the risk. Not really. I mean, the, the blockchain technology, that's why we use it, is, is, is the, the aim is to eliminate the middleman. I mean, we want the money to go directly to the, to the person that creates the project, okay? That's, that's one of the, the main reasons why we did this, to democratize it, to make it peer-to-peer. -peer. And then uh, your, your question is very good. I mean, uh, that's why it's called new carbon markets. Until now, what was happening, as you know, is like uh, there were brokers that they were cold selling, as I said, cold selling carbon credits. Uh, the other day I, I bought my, my plane ticket to here uh, from by Ryanair, and it says, do you want to pay $5 for offsetting your carbon footprint? Say, Let's see my, what is these people doing, right? So I bought the $5. I didn't receive any certificate. I don't know where my money is going. I don't trust these guys. I'm not going to put $5 anymore. 
What about if I give you the certificate that you offset your emissions and the pictures of the project where you're putting the money? That's better, right? So, and what about if you are that company that you see it with virtual reality? That's, so, I'm, I'm obviously you need an onboarding and helping the persons, the people at the first time. It's like when you as a user app, you need help, and we will have a help solution there. But the, this is a DIY solution. You have to do it yourself, and the next time you enter, you already know how to do it. And the, the, thanks for your question, it's very good. I don't know if I solved your... <laughs> we can talk afterwards more if you want. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Other questions? Yes. Um, hello, and thank you for your, 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 your project. Thank I'm you. Joseph Badebokila. I come from Congo, Congo Brazzaville. I'm a project developer. So my project consists in making charcoal. Charcoal with uh, planted tree, uh, trees. We, in addition of making charcoal, we'll be planting 100,000 hectares for our own forest. So I would like to know first, do we have a specific standard for carbon or we can use all the standard existing? And also, at the second term, um, I'm looking for funding. When can I contact you? Now or later? <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so let's start then. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, to your first question, um, we want to integrate everybody there. We want to integrate all type of, of standards. I mean, as I told you, as, as we said, we are facilitators. We are not uh, marrying with nobody. I mean, we are collaborating with everybody. So we want to be facilitators there. I think it's needed. So. Yeah. to avoid the double accountability, as we were saying. And so we are in different conversations, and also we, we set up agreements already for, for that. And, but yeah, as you said, we are accepting, accepting all, all, all the partners. And for, for your raising money, let's talk, let's talk afterwards. <laughs> yes. yes, thank you for the presentation. <clears throat> Yeah, my question is about uh, things we know that climate change have got two wings, adaptation and mitigation. It seems like I saw only for mitigation innovation. There is nothing about adaptation innovation which I tell you to do. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, <coughs> okay, yeah. okay, yeah, true, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, as we said, uh, we, we will open to any type of praise to include in the platform, to be included, not only carbon credits already validated. In fact, uh, we have partners here that came from Brazil. We partnering with one company is going to be one of the few starting projects of the, let's say, the crowd equity or crowdfunding for, for uh, let's say, new solutions for, for these green projects. is uh, an adaptation and mitigation project in Brazil, in the Bahia, uh, Guanabara Bay. If you go to our LinkedIn, you can check the project. It's a video that is, is explains perfectly. Uh, Guanabara Bay is like uh, the most damaged area in a uh, Bay area in the world. Uh, it's killing like thousands and I could say millions of, of fishes uh, every, every year. And because they, they put the garbage in the center of the bay and it's filling, it's, it's getting to the underneath of the water and it's throwing poison every day to the water. So these people develop a new technology that is transforms the garbage into a biofuels and biogas. So they are developing this plan together with the government of Brazil. Uh, so they are including in our platform because it's funny, they, they went to a, a blockchain summit in, in Monaco and they were trying to make a new cryptocurrency. So they told her, why if there is climate coin? So go to talk with them. So they came and, and a lot of projects of that are coming to us now. And we are setting up agreements to, to get in the platform. Whenever the platform is freely open uh, after the end of January, approximately, this type of projects will be able to, to do it themselves and get in the platform, as I told you. Great, thank you. Thank you. Um, can we take one more? Okay. okay. Um, yes. 
the next Just one question. question. You mentioned that you are already in touch with some governments. You just partially mentioned uh, Brazil. Is there any other pilot or communication with the government? Yes, the but it's, it's confidential. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I, I do think we're going to have to bring it to a close. Um, thank you so much, Jose. And